hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to talk about vector and stack class in collection framework so though these these classes are not very important but uh, we should know the concept so so let's talk about it okay so if you see the hierarchy so link uh, vector class implements list interface okay and stack class uh, extends the uh, vector class okay so i'll talk about uh, vector class first so vector uses a dynamic array to store the data elements okay it is similar to array list okay however it is synchronized so we have uh, discussed about uh, array list which is not synchronized okay so we'll talk about synchronization in detail uh, later on so don't worry about that so it is synchronized and due to which it gives poor performance in searching adding delete and update of its elements okay and this is how we can create the vector class okay so these are the different methods associated with uh, vector class so let me just create a vector class okay so i can use the same package and inside that i'll use uh, vector class class demo okay uh, let me use uh, public static void main method and inside this let me create vector class so i'll use uh, generics integer type and vector new i'll use generics here as well Gen Okay, so let me just import vector from java.util package. So here we go, my vector class is uh, created. So let me just add some elements. 13, 34. So in vector class also, we can add duplicate elements. So let me just add duplicate elements and we can add a uh, null value as well null values null let me just print this okay so here we go 13 34 34 null okay so let's talk about some other methods in vector class so we have vector dot so we have used uh, add method and clear method is there so clear let's use clear to clear all the elements from list from this vector uh, class vector class list okay so let me just print it so all the elements will be removed from this vector so here we go just comment this now let's talk about uh, some more method so we have capacity method so let's see what do you mean by capacity here so let's see what it prints I have used this inside a print statement so let's see what it prints so it prints 10 okay so the initial capacity of uh, vector class is 10 so we can add elements up to 10 times 10 elements okay so if you can mouse over here you can see capacity so returns the current capacity of this vector okay so let's uh, let's exceed the limits b uh, above 10 okay so let me just use this 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 so we have 11 elements now let me just run it so it should print 20 okay so whenever the limit exceeded uh, from the current uh, capacity like current cap capacity is it shows 10 right so we have used 11 elements so the capacity will be growing by 10 
okay so 10 again 10 means it will print those now the capacity is 20 so if you use the 21 then it will show 31 or oh, sorry 30 okay so we can use capacity like this and uh, let's see some other method so we have contains we have used earlier in array list and link list and uh, we have gate method okay remove we can remove the elements set to set the particular element in particular index we have size to get the number of elements so these are the different methods so let's iterate uh, vector class okay so let me iterate through for loop now so there are two types uh, in two ways we can iterate uh, uh, these vector types vector class okay so one is using for loop and another one is through iterator uh, function okay through iterator so let me just use this time for loop because uh, the previous time uh, we have used uh, uh, normal for loop and uh, yeah normal for loop and we have used iterator as well so let me use this time uh, advanced for loop okay so integer type itr colon what is my vector name this is vector name and let me just simply print this okay so let me just print this so this is how we can create the for loop advanced for loop and we can print this print the values so let me just run it so here we can see let me just remove this next line So we can print like this so yeah i have to give well some space over here okay i should give it after this yeah here we go 13 34 34 null okay so this is all about uh, vector class so let's talk about a stack so the stack is subclass of vector it implements the last in first out data structure so what do you mean by this last in first out so that means uh, lifo it follows the lifo data structure so let me just create one diagram so you can understand it better so how stack looks like okay so So this is my stack. Okay. So suppose uh, this is element one. Element one. This is element two. This is this is three and this is four. Four. Okay. So last in first out means so el element fourth will be the last element right so this will come out first because we cannot uh, I mean this will this won't come out first okay so whatever is inserted at last that will come out first so this is how stack looks okay so let me just create a stack class so we can using program so let me just create stack demo I'll use public static void main stack use generics so this time let's use a string stack new stack and string type so we have to import a uh, stack class from java.util and now let's use uh, those methods so add method
element one like this we can add two three and we can use we can uh, add duplicate as well we can insert null value as well like uh, other list classes oh let me print this stk so here we go element 1 2 3 and 3 and null so let's see some other uh, other methods okay so we have capacity here as well so let's see what it prints what is the initial capacity of stack it shows 10 so for vector as well as for stack the initial capacity is 10 so let me just use some other methods so i think most of the methods are same clone contains i think we have pick method here so pick will looks at the uh, object at the top of this stack without removing it okay it won't remove this peak it will just print the top object so let me just use uh, this method stack top peak so what is top element null okay because this is the first second third fourth fifth like in this element one two three fourth so it will just pick the the top one okay so this is pick uh, method so similarly we have uh, pop as well so what it does uh, removes the object at the top of this stack and returns the that object as the value of this function okay so it will remove push pushes an item onto the top of this stack so it will push the element so let's use this pop So what will uh, and let me just uh, print afterwards so I think it will remove this one it, it removes null okay so what is the difference between peak and pop peak will just retrieve the elements the top elements okay the top element so this is the top topmost element so it will just retrieve this null okay let me just give some other elements so you won't get confused so I'll give this element 4 now let's just run this so here we go so this pop will um, pick the fourth the topmost element okay element 4 is the topmost okay pick pick uh, method okay so pop will what what it does pop will pick the element as well as it will remove the elements from element from uh, the list okay from the vector class so you can see the last printf statement so that element 4 is removed okay so this is how uh, this stack works so we have discussed about vector and stack class today so in the next video we'll talk about uh, queue interface so thank you guys for watching have a nice day
Bye-bye.